Have you ever made plans and slowly watched those plans come to life? Well, here we are, and I'm here to testify about the plans I've made, and I'm literally watching them come to life. Hello, everyone. My name is Peter, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am in the middle of a construction project in Kenya to build a house for myself and for my mom. Over the last several weeks, we've posted videos depicting or showing the construction of the foundation, construction of the ground floor and the second floor, and also old videos showing the demolition of my childhood home. As you know, I am a big planner. So one of the plans I made was when I was talking to the architect was I wanted a roof that was going to be able to accommodate solar panels. In that conversation, I mentioned to him that, hey, with these solar panels, we need them to be able to be exposed to the sun, both in the morning hours and the evening hours so that we can capture enough energy. If you live in Kenya, you, are, you know that the power grid is very unreliable. Sometimes the power goes out for days on end. So I wanted to take a few minutes and actually get into the, a little bit of the details of some of the uh, designs uh, that went into this uh, roof so that um, you can also be informed and if you decide to build maybe you can you know take some of this information and use it on your own building so the wall plate that you've seen this guy's putting up is made of a 50 by 100 millimeter piece of wood and it's going to run along the ring beam all the external truss members are going to be 150 by 50 millimeter timber members all the internal truss members will be 100 by 15 millimeters. The ridge board at the top will be 200 by 15 millimeters. All the trusses are going to be spaced at 1800 millimeters apart. And all the rafter timber members will also be spaced at 700 millimeters apart. Here is a quick glimpse of how all this process is going. One other thing I learned was the wall plate will be bolted to the ring beam with 12 millimeters bolts and also be anchored down with these small little steel anchors which were cast into the ring beam. As the days have gone by, you will see some of the trusses have already been erected onto this project. The whole process of putting these trusses up here took about seven days. For this roof design, the contractor had five different types of trusses that were going to be installed on here. Some of these trusses are bigger than others because we plan on putting water tanks in the ceiling in the attic. Taking a look at this schematic drawing of the roof itself, you can see the attention to detail down to the last timber that was being used for this roof. Here is a little bit more of a video of the guys installing the trusses. And a quick look at the progress from the road, you can see that the shape of the trusses is coming on along very well. On this beautiful morning, the foreman took the camera and showed me around some of the progress they had made on installing the trusses and also making sure that everything was spaced out correctly. What a beautiful sight. In this clip, you can see the reinforcements on the joints, making sure that we have a steady roof structure. 
Now, as time has gone on on this project, one thing I didn't have was the immediate feedback of just dialing up and seeing what's going on on site. So I talked to the electrical engineer and he recommended I buy some wireless or 4K cameras so that I can have them installed on site. I bought this camera off Amazon. You can pause the video to read the description. Through this camera, I'm able to dial in and actually see what the workers are doing on the construction site. And if you take a look at this photo, it was taken on August 20th, 2024. This is how much work had been done from the rear and the front of the building. And as you can see, the camera is pretty clear. You can actually see the workers walking around the construction site. If you made it this far in this video, why don't you go to the comment section and leave feedback on what you think about this building. Is it what you thought it would be for those who have actually followed my journey? Of course, the work continues on the roof. The rafters and all the other timbers have been installed. And the next phase was to put in the fascia board. The fascia board is what goes along the edge of the roof. And essentially this is where the gutters sit. From this shot, you can see the fascia board has been installed and the project essentially at this point is ready to start uh, putting on some insulation and getting ready for the uh, metal sheets because we're not going to be using tiles we're going to be using metal sheets for this project here's another look from the back with a camera that was installed on the power pole on the neighbor's property of course as the roof project continued other works on the inside of the building did not stop the electrical engineer, the electrical works people were busy chiseling away and laying the rest of the pipe conduit to run all the electrical sockets that are going to be in this house. In addition to that, the guys were taking down the false works that were on the outside by the carport. And when you transition from the outside to the inside of this building, some of the workers were busy already starting to plaster the walls. If you remember, I said that we are gonna be plastering this entire building and none of these um, concrete blocks will be exposed. Here is a photo of the pipe work and the chiseling that had been done on the wall. And without hesitation, they started installing the roof. The white substance or the white material that you see in this film is the insulation material it is a five millimeter insulation material that sits on top of the roof on the timber and the rafters and essentially insulates the house from all the sound and keeps the house warm or cold during uh, harsh weather on top of the insulation material that is going to be an mdf board this MDF board will create an anchor that will be used to nail or screw the 28 gauge metal sheets that are going to be used for roofing on this house. Initially, I had thought I wanted to use tiles, but I'm glad the architect convinced me to use this uh, metal sheets. And as you can see, they have already put a small piece onto the roof. And on the next installment of this video series, I'm gonna document the rest of the roof coming live. Until next time, take care of yourself and be kind to one another.